everybody. Today we're going to be making, not that's not all we're doing actually, I'm not gonna quite do it yet, but I'm going to be making a family recipe. I have showed this recipe before, I think. Um, I don't really quite have great measurements for it, so I don't have a link to the recipe, but you could kind of follow along. It is a large amount that I put in the freezer and save. It's really good to grab when people have babies, when people are sick, when they've had surgery. It's things that I can grab, and even if they want to um, be like, no, it's okay, you don't have to bring me dinner, you can bring it, and it's not like, here, eat this tonight. It's like, here, thaw this out when you need a break, or thaw this out when you need a dinner. Um, this is one of those meals. Gumbo? Well, okay. <laughs> Y'all told me that is not gumbo. It's just missing the shrimp, <laughs> okay? I make gumbo without shrimp because, ew. Um, <laughs> I'm not a shrimp fan. I, I'll eat like shrimp cocktail, but I'm just, I don't know. They're, they're not my thing. So anyways, I make turkey gumbo actually instead of chicken. And then I make red beans and rice. And this is a very cheap meal if you want it to go really far. Food prices are getting high. So this is a great thing to make and put in your freezer. You could even dial it down to one pound of beans. I'm making three pounds of beans. Did I say I'm making red beans and rice? I don't know if I said that. Um, making red beans and rice. <laughs> I don't add the rice into the pot. I just freeze the beans and sausage, like the soup part. And then the nights we're going to have it for dinner, I make a fresh batch, batch of rice in my rice cooker. And then we make the red beans and, <laughs> I call it red beans and rice. It's not really red beans and rice, just the red beans part. <laughs> I warm that up and we have we put rice and then we put the red beans over the top of it with the sausage and then you top it with cheese and put a little creels because creels is amazing anyways that is on the agenda for today also my blinker went out yesterday but Lance is working a lot and it's gonna be probably like four or five days before he can fix it it is very annoying to drive my car I don't know how people drive with their blinkers out because the, the fast blinking that it does is enough to drive someone insane. I'm sure that's why they do that. <laughs> but He was like, you probably have to take some part out in order to change it. Just wait until my day's off. And I was like, oh, you know exactly how to get me to do it. <laughs> Tell me to wait or that I can't do it or <laughs> any of those things. And uh, that's a good way to get me to do it. So I, he said he might have light bulbs in his toolbox, but if your significant other has a toolbox, you know how hard it is to find things. So I'm gonna try to look in there. If not, we're gonna go to the auto parts store. I'm gonna get that light bulb changed, and then we're gonna move on to some red beans and rice. All right, I'm heading to the toolbox now. I just ate butter chicken, and it makes my teeth very yellow, especially my little Invisalign dots. So if you're wondering why, what's going on, listen, this is enough to drive somebody insane. I don't know. I don't know what he's got going on here, but this is what we're working with. There's probably like a 15% chance that I'm actually gonna find these light bulbs. Let's see. What's so funny about this is Lance is a pretty organized person. Like he's like at work, my tools kind of have an area they need to go in. Like he can't function like this at work. But at home, <laughs> the boys get into their, his toolbox and then they just kind of throw things in. It's a little crazy, okay? I would try to organize this for him, but there's absolutely no way I'd know how he wanted things because he's got a certain way, I'm sure. All right, I already looked it up. It's a 3757A light bulb, but it's an orange light bulb. Sorry, I uh, said orange last night and I was strictly corrected into it's an amber <laughs> light bulb. light bulbs. Definitely did not find them. We're gonna call the husband just to double check, but uh, I think we're gonna have to go to the old O'Reilly's in North Pole. <laughs> did you get into your sister's makeup? <laughs> you did a great job. What's a little funny is she's probably more um, court, I don't, I don't know, better at the girl things than me. I don't know. She did green eyeshadow, but she also has a green hair tie and she's got green on her shirt. And there's green on heel. Oh, yeah. Did green you... everything. Okay. All right, so my house is a mess, first of all. We're not hiding that. It's bad. It's really bad. 
okay? In the last video I talked about this, but like Lance has been working a lot and I'm just barely keeping my head above water, honestly. Um, but these are things that have to happen. I have got to change my turn signal in my car because one, it's illegal, and two, the sound is very annoying. <laughs> so let's run to O'Reilly's and North Pole, grab the turn signal, and go get that installed. Work one day. How come the trees get sun dressed when it's cold? And don't they miss the leaves they left behind? Could it be to make the ground shine like cold until winter comes? Until winter comes? Until winter comes? It really makes me wonder. Yeah, it makes me wonder. With. Light bulbs. Yes. You know what kind you need. I do. You know the number? Yeah. Thirty-seven fifty-seven A. Outstanding. Most people don't when they come in. Thirty-seven. Probably on the other side. Fifty-seven. And you're looking for the uh, the, the A. Amber. Yeah. I Perfect. Have one. Perfect. That'll work. Thank you so much. Anything else? That is it, I think. Okay. Well, we'll get you checked out. Ready? How come the stars come to shine when it's dark? from so far away and show us where we are. Got the goods. They had one left, so, I mean, technically two, because there's two in there, but one left to sell me. <laughs> oh, I wonder. Let's go change a light bulb. That, I really should make it sound more interesting than that. There's so many noises and beeps on my car when I start it. It's mad that the light's out. It's mad that the tire is not perfect, which I am probably gonna put some air, slash take some air out of whatever tire it is. That way it just stops beeping every time I get in the car. But also my van doesn't like the washer fluid that I put in this. It has to be stuff that's like 60 below and it doesn't like it because there's like high alcohol content in it and it makes the sensor go out and it thinks that it's out of washer fluid all the time. <laughs> so I'm just used to like the beeps coming on, but now it's like one after another. We're gonna, we're gonna get some of that fixed today. <laughs> there it is. First things first, gloves. I have these mostly work on vehicles if I'm going to, but just for random stuff. They are on Amazon. I will leave a link down below because if you're gonna work and need rubber gloves, they might as well be pink because they're fantastic. I'm only using the light because it'll get, you, you guys will be able to see better if I move the camera over here, that is all. <laughs> Whenever I see girls working on cars, their hair is like dangling over. I always think the engine's gonna start and it's gonna suck it in. So, that's, oh, this is so easy. No, oh, it's just that one. Uh-oh, hello? Yeah, yeah, I can come pick him up, but I can talk to him too. I'm just right down the road, but I'm happy to come pick him up. Hi, bud, you're not feeling good? Okay, you want me to come pick you up? Okay, I was just changing the light bulb on my van. Just be right there as fast as I can. Okay, love you. <laughs> Bye. Because mom duty, I got a call that one of my kids is not feeling good. So, <laughs> pause this real quick. I'm gonna go pick him up and then uh, we'll get this light bulb changed. <laughs> All right, that was like one second for you guys. But um, also, my, <laughs> my poor van is being neglected right now. I haven't done anything to it, but my garage door opener is dying, so I'm changing the battery on that. But while I do that, I'm gonna update you. Um, Brayden is fine. He's just kind of gross feeling, and I'm wondering if it's because I gave him vitamins this morning. <laughs> I gave him like a, you know, mom-sized load of vitamins before he went to school. Oh, it's not working at all. Did I put it on upside down? <laughs> What's going on? Let's double check. 2032. 2032, if you don't know, 
These little batteries are very, very bad. Make sure you dispose of them where your children cannot get to them. There are kids that have swallowed them and had to have them surgically removed or they ate holes in their like stomach lining and all this just very bad things, okay? Okay, be smarter than the garage door opener. The Got it. Oh no. <laughs> it's lighting up. Do I have to program it now? This has turned into like a whole car video. <laughs> Guys, I'm a car channel now. I'm trying to hurry. I've probably cut a lot out of this, but it's been a day, okay? Back in business. Listen, I realize I probably do things the hard way or the longer way, but you know what? I do it. <laughs> <laughs> and I feel good that I've done it. For real this time. Let's get these. This headlight's gonna take me like two minutes to change. But I've had like four interruptions, so. Let's get, that was, that was a snap like I thought it was gonna be. Let's get this blinker in. I'm sure you guys are so tired of hearing about it. But this is always how things go when I try to do anything, like any project, I, I always, I've got to run to the store at least once, if not more times. I get called to pick up kids. I actually got to go pick up another kid here in a little bit. So I'm going to get on this. Got it that time. Let me show you which one I'm trying to change. It is this little bulb right here. This is a dresser from when I was younger that I need to refinish um, and give to Natalie. Um, <laughs> So many projects. Uh, this is the light bulb. Let's see if I can figure this out without making a fool of myself. I think you just pull on it. I'm gonna be real honest here. We're gonna watch a YouTube video because I don't want to break anything. <laughs> Listen, we're gonna pretend like I did this perfectly the first time. You actually have to turn it. I was like pulling it. Oh my gosh, it came right out. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my gosh. That doesn't look like the same bulb. There we go. That does not look the same. 37.57. Uh-oh. In my defense, this is not my fault. The guy asked what number, and I said 37.57. Okay. 37.57A. 37, it's probably on the other side. 57. And he gave me 3157, and I should have checked. Oh my goodness. Listen, I am not messing around. We are doing this in the O'Reilly's parking lot. I'm 99% sure this is the right one. He was like, well, you told me the wrong one. I was like, I did not. I had it on recording. I went back and watched. <laughs> but it doesn't matter. They ended up taking it back. These were actually like $7 cheaper. So I'm a little excited about that, but we're gonna replace this. Uh, I feel like people are gonna come up and be like, ooh, can I help you? And I'm like, absolutely not. <laughs> Literally all the time it took, like one minute. <laughs> Now to test it out. Look at that. All fixed. All right, I shut the hood and then I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna replace the other one. I don't think we've ever done that and we've owned this vehicle for like, I don't know, eight years. So I just went ahead and replaced both of them. They're super easy to change and we'll probably lose that light bulb if it just floats around for a while. So I just changed both of them. It was actually very easy. Uh, like most cases, anything I touch is, I just make it more difficult somehow. I don't know. It literally took like one minute. Once I had the right light bulbs, I just had to like twist it and pull it out. Take the old one out, put the new one in, at least for this vehicle. All vehicles are different though. I did not get the air in my tires, but I got my garage door opener fixed, or battery in there, and then my light bulbs fixed, so we're all good. Let's go home again. Okay, guys. 
<laughs> it's been crazy. Please don't let this deter you from trying things. If you are nervous about fixing things, YouTube it, go find, type in the year, make and model of your vehicle and what you're trying to fix on your vehicle and see how hard it is. You may be able to fix it, you may not, but um, that's what people get paid to do. That's what Lance does for a living. I just enjoy doing those things and now my blinker's not all crazy. <laughs> Did I just clean my kitchen so I could do this and not be disgusted when I go to edit it? Yes. Is it perfect? No. Mother Nature is doing her job and drying my dishes for me. Last night, I dumped all the beans into the pot, added water, rinsed them off, picked out any bad ones, and then drained it. So you kind of like rinse it off, kind of like rice, um, if you've never done dry beans before. And then I just fill it up with water like tons of water and let it soak overnight so this is what it looks like that is what it looks like it's it looks like very little this pot it may be way too maybe way too big but that's okay better too big than too small i'm gonna go ahead and drain this you don't want to use this water i i don't remember why maybe it's because of gas i don't know but we're gonna drain this water add fresh water get them boiling I'm gonna get the sausage, pepper, and onions all cut up and put in here. Now I'm gonna run, I'm just gonna cap it. I'm gonna run and go get some kids. <laughs> if the day seems kind of hectic, it's because that's just what my life is. I need to be more organized, that would help me a lot. I have a really hard time focusing, it's gotten really bad lately. I'm sorry it's so hectic, because I know that's not fun to watch sometimes, but that's just what today is, and that's what we're doing. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and cut up, I'm pretty sure I need three onions, that's what I have here two or three onions, and that will be everything that actually goes in there except for seasoning. So let's get those onions cut. hopefully give you guys an idea of how much I use um, so hopefully I can have some type of recipe this again this is like a family recipe that we got from somebody else and that my my mom has tweaked a little bit and then I have tweaked a little bit so we're, we're gonna attempt this I'm gonna start with three tablespoons of the seasoning and see how that goes. You can always add, but you cannot take out. We're gonna let that simmer for a few hours and hopefully it's done because we eat dinner about seven o'clock on Lance's work night. So 
which I know is so late. Uh, when he is not working, we do not eat that late, but he doesn't get home until then. So we try to eat dinner as a family every night um, at bare minimum. And so far it's been, it's worked out. It's 4.15 right now. And hopefully these beans have cooked long enough to get soft. So we'll see. Um, if not, we'll be ordering some pizza. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie guys. I just sat down for like, I don't know, over an hour. I was like, I just need to stop moving. It is looking pretty good. It's been going now about an hour and a half-ish. Oh, not quite an hour and a half, but it is definitely coming along. Um, even though they soaked all night long, um, probably longer than I should have let them soak, they're still, they can be very gritty. And I believe red beans can actually be toxic to you if you don't cook them all the way through. I'm gonna make sure these are cooked thoroughly. Um, I'm gonna get some rice going. My rice cooker is one of the best purchases I have ever made. Actually, Lance got it for me for Christmas because I never spend that much money <laughs> on an appliance, but he knew I needed it. We eat a lot of rice. This thing gets used three to five times a week. Like we use this often. And this thing makes perfect rice every single time. Uh, it is a little bit expensive. I think it's like 150 or $200. I don't know, it's crazy. I will put a link down below. Lance is about to get home. We're gonna eat some red beans and rice and have a nice family dinner. forgot to vlog like any of dinner but like I said that is our time to be together as a family and I just I tried to just let that be family time so um dinner was fantastic it was really good I am going to actually package this up I threw some ice cubes in there because it actually needed some more water anyways so I threw some ice cubes down or threw some ice cubes in there to cool it off I am going to get Lance's lunch ready and then I'm going to package up this red beans and rice. It was definitely a struggle of a day. It is like eight o'clock and I, I'm not gonna lie, I'm just about ready for bed. <laughs> it was just one of those days where like everything felt like it was going wrong. Yesterday was a rough day. I finally hit a point to where I started to get cranky. <laughs> it's like normally I kind of just let it roll off my shoulder, but yesterday I hit a point to where I was like, I'm just done. I'm going to bed. <laughs> I'm gonna start over tomorrow. And today kind of started like that and it kind of continued like that, but I kept a better attitude today. So that made a huge difference. You know when you refrigerate rice and it gets kind of like crunchy and hard and like just not as like fluffy? This wet paper towel, just like a wet paper towel on top of there before you microwave it, will fluff it up into like perfect good rice.
is what I got. These are two solid meals for my family. And then my bird, my bird, my brother, um, he likes red beans and rice as well. So I made him some, but there's only a few in their family that actually like it. So I just made some small ones for him. These actually look, you, you probably think these look really small for a family of six, but I am not freezing the rice portion. All I do is freeze the beans and sausage portion. And then, so really you just take, the way I average it is about one ladle full of red beans and rice per person in our family. A little bit more, I think I do about seven scoops, but, um, cause like Addison doesn't eat a whole scoop, Brayden probably doesn't eat a whole scoop, so like it gives a little more for like the adults. It just ends up being right for our family. There is also probably a whole nother meal in this um, pot that I'm going to be, um, Landon wanted it for lunch tomorrow, so he's gonna take it to for lunch. And probably, a, and there might even be a whole nother dinner in there, I don't know. What I do with these is I freeze them. Normally I lay them on my porch because um, it's normally freezing outside, but <laughs> it is not free quite freezing, or at least that solid yet. But I will put these in the freezer, I'll freeze them, and then on a night where I'm like, I have no idea what's for dinner, I pull it out, I put it into the sink with some like warm water, and I let it sit there for like 30 minutes and then I throw it in a pot, it's normally still frozen, and I just warm it up and I make a pot of rice and voila, there is dinner. It is one of the nicest things I have in my freezer is having gumbo and red beans and rice just to be able to grab on the whim because as, as always, everyone gets those nights where they just don't wanna cook. So, all right, world's longest vlog. <laughs> Oh, this was a long one. I'm sorry to like bring you guys all over the place, but that's just what today was. I'm going to end this. Thank you guys for coming along in my little red beans and rice turn signal video. <laughs> it's a good time. <laughs> all right, hit that like, hit that subscribe, and we will see you in the next video. Bye.